morning everybody and happy april 20th which is almost exactly one month from the start of spring here in mississauga ontario canada yesterday we had a very canadian april blizzard which was pretty special and it does happen a lot because about two weeks ago it was like 15 degrees so two weeks ago we were all geared up for spring and going into summer and uh, we've got one last snowfall here so very familiar weather for me being born and raised here and so with this in mind I thought we'd make a video of a typical day in the life of a Mississauga Ontario Canada just outside of Toronto resident and so after we clean the snow off the cars I think our next stop will be to get some coffee at Tim Hortons. Let's go. All right, cheers to a Tim Hortons coffee with a big maple leaf right on the front of it. What could be more Canadian than that? And Yvonne actually ordered a double-double, mm -hmm. which is uh, two cream, two sugar. Yeah, I think it's a Canadian thing. I don't think anywhere else know what a double-double is. Right, we did go to Tim Hortons in Dubai, and we specifically asked them, do you know what a double-double is? And they said yes, <laughs> because it's sort of a Tim Hortons uh, creation. So Tim Hortons is like super popular all across Canada. I think there's more than 4,000 stores and they're starting to branch out. Obviously the one in Dubai and this is another Canadian creation. This is a Timbit. I think the concept is it's the center of a donut. They cut it Small out donuts. and then they just kind of fry it and they sell it like this. They have different ones. So it's a nice chocolate. snack for the morning. There's a chocolate one. Mm. So this is a super Canadian way to start the day. The guy in front of me in line was a construction worker who ordered six large double doubles wow. with the steel toe boots on and mud on his clothes and I thought this is a very uh, common thing in the morning mm -hmm. and obviously Tim Horton uh, was a hockey player I think he's passed away now but he was on the Toronto Maple Leafs I believe the last time they won the championship in the 60s which what a shame the most rich hockey team in the world the biggest hockey market in the world had a team that stinks for 60 years almost <laughs> <laughs> what a shame that is but uh, it's but probably are still proud of the Maple Leafs. We're proud of our Maple Leafs, but they just don't win the championship anymore. Hmm. Probably not winning because they don't draft a goalie like me. So with that, we can go uh, from here. We'll go maybe sharpen my skates and maybe even tape my stick. Getting ready for my first hockey game in more than three years. Hmm. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, look at that, guys. Walking out of one Tim Hortons, and in the distance, just across the road, I can see another Tim Hortons. Pretty typical here in Mississauga. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> it's uh, all sports, mostly hockey, and especially new and used equipment. All right. Hi there. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. Drop it off on the back. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, right there. Best story ever. Come on, let's go look at goalie equipment. I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to come here very often because I want to buy everything. <laughs> mostly kid stuff and mostly used. When I was a kid, oh, yeah, was, this are used. Huh? There was more uh, new stuff. Ready, Steve? <laughs> so, bit of a shame, no new goalie equipment. I was hoping to show you guys uh, goalie pads, new ones. <laughs> Probably fifteen hundred dollars. Wow! And super fun to look at for me. So only use equipment here, which is a bit of a shame. But we did get my skates sharpened. I just realized when you're sharpening skates, 
Uh, he's supposed to ask me what type of sharpening I want. There's different ones he can do. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask me and I didn't even remember to tell him. <laughs> so I'm officially the worst Canadian. I don't even know what he's doing to my skates, but I'm sure it's fine because I haven't played in three years and I'm just trying to not break my ankles to be honest. <laughs> so I should be fine. But uh, super excited for this. Can't sit still. Going to play hockey for the first time. In three more years? Than three years, yeah. Yeah, more than three years. Now I'm a goalie, so I need to make sure I don't hurt my knees. All right, next stop, Iceland Hockey Arena. Hopefully you guys will be impressed. It's a huge arena, and there's like dozens and dozens and dozens of arenas. Mm -hmm. So right across the street from Iceland, another huge arena, four rinks. And on the way there, we'll probably <laughs> wow. pass two or three. Wow. This is wow. the nature of the GTA. Wow. All right, let's go. Please them up. <laughs> oh, sharp. <laughs> I don't know. So here we have the... Newly Sharpman. Uh, 16 year old goalie skates. You can see rust happening everywhere. Uh -oh. Also, Ivana wanted me to tell you that inside these skates, on the ice, I don't wear socks. Barefoot in the goalie Gross. skates. Gross. She thought that was worth mentioning to the vlog. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, Ivana, just like that, we've been to 31 countries. <laughs> Iceland. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been spring for a month. I'm about to freeze to death. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys will be impressed. Huge hockey arena. And like I said, right across the street, five pads. Here, four pads. <laughs> wow. Look at your hockey equipment in the big, huge bag. <laughs> it's actually lighter than the backpack we use for traveling. Oh, really? Because the backpack we're traveling is full, no. of, your, it's full of your shoes. No, no, yes. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously it's 11 a.m. on a weekday. Uh huh. So not a lot of action. No. You can imagine it's pretty quiet. The week, it would be full of parents and kids, and there's four hockey arenas. Right. And many people have multiple children. One kid's playing over there. One kid's playing over there, and it's a happening place. There's a bar upstairs. There's really nice popcorn. There's a little shop right there. Actually, renovated since I was here last. Quite nice, isn't it? It's been huh. uh, all done. Look at this hockey arena. Next stop, uh, 20 minutes of stretching. <laughs> okay, see you on the ice. Good luck. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. look at this. Perfect. Rink number Actually, two. Because there's a bunch of guys, and there's only one goalie. So I can go for the other net. Oh, that's perfect. Good. Very nice. So, it's a whole bunch of old timers, a whole bunch of retired people. <laughs> Good luck, Steve. So you can choose to sit out here, but because it's a little bit cold, uh, I think we're gonna watch from out there, behind the glass. This hockey arena is huge. I mean, this is only one rink. So, ring number one, rink number two, where Steve will play, rink number three, right here, and rink number four. Four rinks in total. And they look pretty much the same. Some people are just skating around for fun. Some people are playing hockey. Some will do like figure skating but let's see if Steve is out there now. Not yet. Oh, Steve, right there. Steve is there. Oh, oh, good save, good save. <laughs> I saw some nice saves there, Steve. So I'm out there and I'm thinking, man, I haven't missed a beat. I'm a superstar. <laughs> and then they, they told me that this game is 55 years old and over. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, no wonder I'm playing good. Everyone's my dad's age. But now starts the 18 and over. So now it's okay. going to be. Oh, you're sweating already. So on one hand, that. it was a good warm up with the old guys. On the other hand, I just spent all my energy in the warm ups. <laughs> <I'm gonna> be... <laughs> 
Good warm up. It. Okay. Look at this. Look at the gear, man. Look at that. Ooh. All right. Game two. All we'll right. see if I can finish the whole thing. Good luck, Steve. Throw up on the ice. <laughs> The under 50 game has just started. So Steve was doing pretty good on the last game. Let's see how he does in this round. Hopefully he can keep up. He hasn't played in three years. <laughs> and I remember I used to come here with him every week, at least once a week to watch his game here. And he would play with his friends and all the hockey girl friends will come together and watch their games and cheer for our boyfriends. It was fun. It was good memories here in this uh, hockey arena. So I think Steve is having fun right now. He's having a blast because he hasn't done this in so long. And I know when we were traveling, the number one thing he missed the most, if you ask him from Canada, is hockey, is playing hockey. So I'm sure he's having a lot of good times right now. <laughs> Woo! Go Steve! <laughs> you still got it. It looked good? Yeah. yeah super tired. <laughs> Bit of a shame there was four goalies. Oh yeah. Three is too many. You want to have one in each net. <laughs> but we had four. I feel tired. <laughs> so? I got a wicked blister on my foot. Ooh. <laughs> Same skates I wore my whole life and they don't fit right anymore. Mm -hmm. oh, my feet aren't used to them at least. After three years. Maybe more than three years. First least, time playing. At least three. Yeah. There you have it. Okay. So? <laughs> Let's go uh, eat some food and have a nap. <laughs> Did it bring you good memories coming yes. back here? Yeah, I saw one of my buddies there. Yeah. So that him. was nice. And you've been playing since you were a little kid, right? Like six years old. Six years old. Poof. All right. I'm hungry. Let's go eat some. Oh, let's go eat my, my most favorite Canadian food. Ooh, okay, let's, let's go. go. Steve is K O. After an hour of playing hockey. <laughs> Love you, babe. Love you. Hey, okay. Night night. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'm up and I'm at him. And I'm ready for action. Not really. So our plan today was to go down to the river, which is behind my parents' house, mm -hmm. see some Canada geese, if we get lucky we see a beaver, all type of really great stuff, but the tank is empty and I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, we're going to show you the greatest meal, the meal I missed the most as we were traveling. So many people would say, what did you... I uh, miss the most about Canadian food and this is a meal that I miss the most. <laughs> mm. Alright, so obviously craft dinner is garbage. Here, let me read the box. Uh, <laughs> it says the noodles are Ingredients, 42% plastic, 57% sawdust. It's totally garbage. It's about, I think, $1 a box. It's like the Maggi noodles or the Indomie. Exactly right. Of Canada. It's the $1 irresistible flavor. The ramen noodles. And what we do in this household to really spice it up and really make it gourmet is we add in some onions, some peppers, and some... Meat. We got the meat. Your meat right there. Bacon. Half a pack of bacon. 
And honestly, after a day of getting out there, rekindling my my youth dream of hockey, and also pulling every muscle in my body, this is the perfect meal. Oh. So we did miss the comfort hike. Comfort food. Comfort food. We did miss the hike around because I couldn't make it, but we are gonna eat some of the greatest, what I would call Canadian food. Canadian. Ever. And honestly, if I'm not, you might have to finish the vlog. I am fading fast. <laughs> All right, let's eat. All right, there you have it, guys. Ketchup. The best dinner money can buy with 1.5 liters of ketchup and pepper. Let's do the uh, close up shot here, Mana. Does that look good or what? I think Malaysian people can relate to it. This is the Maggie <laughs> of uh, North America. So obviously we've tried so much better food, but this is something I really crave. Wow, something so simple. <laughs> no, really? Wow. So it's uh, cheese flavor. I don't think there's any cheese in it. I think it's just uh, cheese artificial. Flavor. What's nice about craft mm. dinner is a lot of times in our videos we have to do some color grading on the footage right? to artificially enhance the colors of the of the the viewpoint or something. <laughs> but with this, the artificial color is built right in. It's, yellow. it's got that beautiful yellow to it. Very yellow. Just right off the camera. <laughs> and you're pairing it with. Mmm. <laughs> Glass, Glass of, bag of milk. milk. <laughs> Steve mm. has really milk every day. Every dinner. During dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is great food. This is honestly, I'm just being honest. Five stars. What? Mm. <laughs> Tastes like growing up as a kid. We did a pretty typical day. Play hockey, go to play against sports, have a coffee, and then uh, eat some crap dinner. Mm -hmm. Canadian day. And tonight we'll watch the Blue Jays. Maybe have a beer. Wow. Typical day in the life of a uh, Mississauga Steve Gregg. <laughs> That's right. All right. Would have been nice to go to the river. It just wasn't Too in the cars. Today. It, just, it was and the weather. That's what it was. It was weather. the weather. And also you were, you passed out. <laughs> On the couch there. Alright, thanks for watching our vlog guys. We're gonna enjoy our gourmet dinner prepared by Chef. <laughs> Alright. Mm. There you have it. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Never mm. seen you so excited over food. What's great is you really don't have to chew that much. Just a big oh, pile of cheesy mush. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Steve doesn't chew. So there you mm. have it. <laughs>